what is the effect of temperature on the activity of an enzyme or the effectiveness of that enzyme to catalyze a reaction? Well, I'm sure we can all agree that there's probably an optimal temperature at which the enzyme works best. But then if it becomes too cold, the activity drops off. Now, why is that the case? Well, that's the case because all chemical reactions slow down at lower temperatures. Low temperature, slow reactions entirely. That's because temperature affects the kinetic energy of the molecules. The lower the temperature, the slower the molecules are moving, and so the less likely they are to be able to get over the activation energy barrier. Almost all reactions are slower at a low temperature, so this part of the enzyme activity curve should not be surprising. What you've been taught, though, is that chemical reactions speed up with temperature, like if the temperature goes up, the molecules are moving faster, so more of the collisions lead to a reaction. But unfortunately for enzymes, that's not true. This curve ends up being truncated entirely, and that's because enzymes are protein-based molecules that allow one uh, reactant in and catalyze a reaction in some other way. But because they're made out of proteins, if the temperature is high enough, then they get denatured, which is another way to say that they just simply break down chemically. High T, the enzyme itself breaks apart. So how can the enzyme be active if it's been broken apart? It can't. There you go. Now I want that part of the curve to actually hit zero for enzyme activity because eventually all of the enzyme will break apart. But I want this one to be more of a horizontal asymptote for you. At some point, the enzyme activity will probably become zero because the, the solution that your enzyme is in is probably gonna freeze entirely. But if that doesn't happen, then technically there's a small chance that the molecules will have enough energy to react and thus, I don't, I don't want this to hit zero if you can help it when you're drawing this curve, okay? But again, the effective temperature is that there's an optimal temperature for the enzyme where it works best. And then if you get too cold, the molecules are moving less quickly. And so your reaction slows. If your temperature is too high, the enzyme itself breaks down and it can't be active because it's been broken apart into pieces. Cool. Not too bad. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.